Um, yeah, actually, right. got another viewer question here. I thought, you know, break it up a little bit. Yeah, Do you mind no, if I just got a text in from Adam from Pullenvale? Um, <laughs> from Pullenvale, has yeah, he moved? It's not really, <laughs> not exactly football related, but, you know, we, you know, we try and keep it interactive, yep. keep it interesting. So Adam's written, hey guys, I just want to share with you both that I'm so happy right now. Oh, good on you, Adam. I've met the love of my life and I want to marry her. Oh. Congratulations, Tony. Yeah, I'm happy yeah. to hear that. It's what we all dream of. It's a beautiful thing. I've never been sure of anything in my life. The only problem is, I don't want to be the first one in my group to get engaged. What do you think the odds are that someone else in our group gets down on one knee before I do? Oh, jeez. Mm. That's an a tricky question. one, Adam. Now, Paul when you say he, when he says get down on one knee, he's referring to marriage yep. proposal. Yep. I think. Does it say any more information, how long he's known this bird? It doesn't say... Oh, actually, he's written hashtag dirty street pie. Ah, uh, okay. I've got so, an inkling it's been about two days yeah. that they've known each other. Yep, things, okay. Things move faster in Adam's yeah. world. Look, I know the guy pretty well, and I'm installing him at $1.50 favourite. $1.50? Fifty. It's probably the right play. You put your money oh, you on that, d- yeah. you're not going to be disappointed. He's going to give you every opportunity to win that bet. Absolutely. I think he's most likely... I'm sorry to tell you this, Adam, but you probably are going to be the first one to get married. Yeah, I that's think that's overs too. It's I think, really clear. $1.50. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we were out at um, we were out at uh, down under bar the other night, and Evan Pierce, yep. good friend of the show, yep. Ev Bron, Ev Sanity, yep. He said that the way that Adam's girlfriend spoke was as if they'd been going out for years. It I hasn't. thought that was telling. It hasn't been years. No, it's interesting. But look, going through the list, I've got Dwani at two dollars eighty. He's a dark horse there. I feel yeah. like... Well, you got to think, he's just moved in together, loves it's blossoming. It's a big step. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, sure, I'll have another beer, mate. I do Great think, one. um... I think that's going to be Hannah's decision in the end. If she tells him they're getting married, they'll be getting married, so... Oh, he doesn't have a say in the matter. Yeah. Uh, then you've you got... Did you see the pink, the pink bathrobes at his house? I didn't see the pink bathrobes. Okay. I'm going to have to bring Dwani into $1.60. All right. With that new information that's come to light there. Well, I don't know if we... Yeah, can we really have two, two, two people under a do- under two dollars? Two sixty. I've got. Oh, two sixty. Yeah, 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 right, yeah. That's fair enough. No, I'm keeping it fair now. No, no, that's good. I've got Westy at five dollars. I feel like he's the solid <coughs> choice. I feel like he's gonna. It's good value. To him. It's good value. Yeah, he's probably gonna propose to her in like two years. The only like problem is he needs play. he needs two people to slip up. Mm. He. I've he, written here needs an injury. Yeah. To when, be a when would you? What sort of time frame would you give? Like, I think he's the most consistent of all. I think he's he's proposing in two years. Yeah. So he's not going to do something erratic. Yeah. Whereas, like, Heathy... Like, I've got a missed call from Heathy now. For all I know, he was just telling me the news, probably asking me to be best man. Yeah, that's true. So that's the thing about Westy. He's consistent, but I don't know. Yeah, I feel like you're going to well, need someone to and, slip up. And another thing that I was going to add is that marriage and popping out a kid, they're highly correlated. Yeah. And Heathy's one of the most fucking... He, does, he never wraps up. Well, he never taps up. Yeah, and like in the spirit of Christmas, he'd be like, <laughs> "You, you, you need like to Christmas wrap it up. <laughs> Come wrap on, that man, mother up. Come on. You're better than that, Heathy. Although the bareback bandit. If we're going to be laying our life savings on Heathy at a dollar fifty, we don't need to be telling him this info. Yeah, that's true. We'll keep keep, on. keep now, that shit unwrapped. Now, what about yourself, unwrapped. mate? What about yourself? I've got you here at seventeen dollars. Seventeen. I think you would be like to the untrained eye, you should be yep. single figures. I think mm. you could be third favorite. But it's deceiving. I know you won't spend the money. Well, that's what I was going to say. Um, how yeah. and, and the thing is, when you add all in the ring, not that kind of ring. Oh, no. <laughs> when you add in the ring, when you add in all that shit, it's fucking expensive. expensive. But then, and I, I've, that's I've less open, money to bet. Yeah, I've openly said that I fucking don't want to spend, I can spend that money elsewhere. Yeah. Sporting bet, sports yeah, bet. We've already made like on five Yeah, exactly. Um, but the thing it. is, yeah, I, I guess. Heathy doesn't have an awful lot of coin either. That's the issue. Yeah, that is true. That's why he's not a dollar ten, to be honest. Yeah, no, that's, now, that's probably the only reason. The value of the field is the broken. The good thing is, though, I was going to say quickly, if Heathy had, if Heathy has his wedding, he can save a few bucks because he can just have it in the parents' backyard. That's true. Which saves you yeah. probably twenty well, grand or party, already. Yeah. Now look, the value of the of the bunch is broke at twenty one. Twenty one. Now he's not currently like associated. Uh, Deeply, yep. tightly with any one individual. But that, doesn't, that could change next but week. But the thing about him is when he falls, he falls hard. I mean, Very let's hard. just look back at 
he was dating uh, Lovel Wubble Jubble Roman. Yep. And they've been seeing each other for a couple of weeks and he took her out for a $150 dinner on Valentine's Day. $150. Which, like, I was like, oh, yeah, fair enough. But then the next week he bought a five grand engagement ring. Oh, my God. All right, just for the viewers, half that story is true. He didn't take her out for dinner, did he? He didn't take her out for dinner. <laughs> and, look, I'm, I'm also on the list. I'm at 5,000 to one. Yep. I don't see value there. No, you can't put the odds high enough. Yeah, you cannot make it high enough. People won't take it. The, the sharps won't be on it. The public won't be on it. The problem I have is that I repulse the opposite <laughs> sex. Yeah. It's a problem. And, yeah. I was going to say you, somehow that can work to your advantage, but it can't. Mm. It can't at all. No. So I don't even know why they've got me down there in that list. No, it's like when they have. It's like when they narrow down the field for who's going to win the NCAA championships, and they have like twelve teams there. You want to, you've missed out. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be there. Yeah, exactly. Or they just put really high odds for mug punters that think, <laughs> oh, already... that's awesome odds, yeah, exactly. and bet on it. If you're betting that, you're betting it as a joke. You're not betting it to make money. Mm-hmm. 